Hey everyone, welcome back. This is the 100th upload onto the Perfect Chaos YouTube channel. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed, anyone who's watched, liked the video, left a comment, anything like that. It really means a lot and it really helps out the channel. Today on my table I've got all kinds of stuff to show off. So let's do it. Alright, so welcome to the July 2023 Sonic Collection update. You see on my table here, I've got a bunch of stuff. Well, a lot of it is wall art again. I've been going to Burlington's and I've been picking up a lot of random items. I've also got my comics finally and another skateboard. So let's do it. Alright, so let's start with this thing right in front of me. I've got, it looks like a canvas, but it's actually 3D. You can't really see it from the camera. I'm going to bring it up close. It says, I'm out of here, it's got Modern Sonic, and it's from Burlington. So here you can see it, you can see the texture maybe, there you go. You can see how he kind of pops out. It's made of some kind of, like, I don't know, felt material. It's not really felt material, it's some kind of soft fabric, I don't know. It says, I'm out of here, it's got Modern Sonic on it. It's a square, and it was $12.99 from Burlington. And in case you're wondering, today I'm wearing my Chow Stray Rats t-shirt. This is the blue one. It's got neutral chow on the front and a bunch of different chow on the back. I really love this shirt. Okay, next up to my left to your right, I've got this collection of four square panels. I don't actually know if they're connected. They're held together by this kind of cardboard frame here. And it's got Classic Sonic doing a bunch of different poses. So here this is. This is some kind of canvas material. It's got Classic Sonic in four different modes here. So I like this one up here. It's kind of a comic style. It's got Robotniks, Knuckles, Tails there. But I've definitely broken this package already, so I will likely be taking this out. You can see it actually wraps around the edges. So that's kind of cool. And on the top here. I'll definitely be taking these out and putting them around the, the apartment because I definitely don't have this much space. So <laughs> I'll definitely be finding little square spaces around the walls. Okay, next up to my right, to your left, I have this framed art here of Modern Sonic. It's got Sonic up here, it says still unstoppable, and I'm out of here. All right, so this is one of the more higher quality framed arts from Pyramid America. Uh, I know this because it's already framed, which is very nice. Uh, it's got kind of that textured sort of, I don't know if it's paint or whatever it is, but it's kind of textured there. Simple art, it's got modern Sonic and a green hill flower. Next up, I have this. I didn't actually expect to find this, I never knew it existed. I was waiting in line in Burlington to buy the other stuff that I just showed you and I saw this and by the checkout line. Alright, so here you can see it's kind of a shadow box style. It's got some thickness to it. You can see sort of the depth here. You can see the shadow behind tails and uh, knuckles there if I turn it at the right angle. Oh, okay, there you go. You can kind of see behind them now. It's knuckles, tails, sonic in the forefront and Looks like Green Hill Zone in the background. It says Team Sonic, it's got rings. It's a pretty cool item, it was only $5.99, but it does have like a, some kind of like scratch up here, I'm not sure what that is, but uh, yeah, it's cheap and it's small. All right, sticking with Burlington finds, I did see these walkie talkies. The last time I saw walkie talkies were from, I think Jazzwares, they're up there somewhere. But these are pretty cool, they've got Modern Sonic's heads and they were only $9.99, so pretty good. And they are up close, they're pretty simple, and they're probably battery operated. It's just Modern Sonic's head, the speaker is right in his forehead. It's got the antennas on the back, shows this kid playing with them, really simple. Uh, this little thingy got turned, I'm not sure how to fix that, but uh, all in all, pretty nice. Okay, so I'm adding to my kitchenware shelf this month. I've got a water bottle from Walmart, and I also have this I guess, I don't know, ramen noodle set from Spencer's. All right, starting off with the water bottle. This is from Zach. Uh, let's see, Everyday Smiles. So it's sleep proof, antimicrobial, and it's got Modern Sonic on the front, along with Sonic's name a bunch of times. On the back it says, let's go. So, it's pretty cool looking. It's got a little green thing here. I guess you flip this up and then you press the button and it opens. So, yeah, it's pretty nice. I may end up using this for work, actually. Okay, and this is the Chopstick and Bowl set. It's got Classic Sonic and Tails, as you can see here on the side. Also has Green Hill Zone, of course. And the Chopsticks, I think they're just red Chopsticks. There's nothing particularly special about them. 
Uh, the bowl has a little cutout here for where you can store your chopsticks. It's a pretty cool little piece. The last time I had a Sonic bowl was the uh, original one there. And I'm looking at it right now. It's got uh, Sonic sitting in the director's chair. So it's pretty cool that I have another one. And rounding out my finds from Spencer. This is a, another shot glass. Has a metallic finish with modern Sonic and the modern Sonic logo. Just normal shot glass, but it's cool to add to the collection. Okay, so from the more art gallery, there are these four prints from Sonic Frontiers that they offered. They came in, I had them framed, and they look magnificent. The only question is, where am I going to put them? They are numbered out of 150. I got set number three, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it did come with this reflective Sonic sticker, which I think they now include with all of their Sonic prints. So that's pretty nice. They've got the Titans in a couple of pictures. They've got some nice scenery here and Sonic with the moon. All right, next up, I have another finesse board. I know I showed off the Dark Child last month. This month I have the Super Silver board to show off. Finesse recently dropped this and I was able to pick it up since there were no other boards I had to go after. It's pretty cool actually. Here that is up close. Super Silver, trying to look as menacing as he can. Very nice design here. And as usual, I don't get the grip tape, so this time it came stained in a nice red color. I love how it has the uh, logo on here. So I did end up picking up some comics. Here is issue 59, A and B. I did miss the retail incentive cover. I'll find that eventually. Moving on, we've got issue 60, cover A, B, and the retail incentive cover. Got Team Dark on there. Next here, we've got issue 61, covers A, B, and the retail incentive cover. And finally, we have issue 62, covers A, B, and the retail incentive cover. Really like Marble Gardens here on cover A. Now, IDW also recently reached their fifth anniversary with the Sonic series, and they had different covers to go with it. So here's cover A, B, C, D, and the retail incentive cover. And that's everything I've got for this month. Again, thank you so much for everyone who watches the videos, anyone who comments, likes, even subscribes to the channel. It really does mean a lot. 100 videos on this channel is a lot more than I thought I would ever make, especially considering how little time I have to do it. So, thank you all. I look forward to making more videos about Sonic and other stuff, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So until next time, stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next one.